Now, I have to say, I've been following Masha's writing and, and career for many, many years. And you should know that Masha, I, I don't know that you've had a chance, either one of you, to encounter your uh, great leader in, in a journalistic setting, but I know Masha has. And it was over an issue so absurd that it's the only time where I really think that Putin ever resembled a kind of Trumpian um, comic dimension. Can you tell that story? Um, so, so one time I refused, uh, I was editing... Uh, you were, you were the editor of a magazine that was similar to National Geographic. In a right. Uh, Around uh, the World. Or yeah, it's called yeah. Around the World. It's the biggest magazine in Russia uh, and, uh, and the oldest. And it's a popular science magazine. And the reason I was there was because I felt like I couldn't do political reporting anymore. And this was a wonderful place to hide out. And then Putin decided he really liked the magazine. <laughs> and, um, and he asked that I send a reporter to cover his hang gliding with the Siberian cranes. And I take, said... Take note, hang gliding with big old birds. Right. Okay. So <laughs> as part of the hang gliding, he was going to pretend to be a bird so that they would follow him on a new migratory route. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a thing. And I actually had assigned a story on the thing, and w uh, but I didn't know it was going to be Putin. <laughs> so, so I said I would rather not send a reporter. I have a story assigned on the project of repopulating the Siberian cranes, but I would really l like to stay off the plane that is going uh, with Putin because the re and this was not a brave journalistic stand. I said because the reporter is going to see something that you don't want in the magazine. I was telling the publisher, and. I'm going to then publish it, and then you're going to fire me. He said, well, how about if he sees something that you don't want in the magazine, uh, that I don't want in the magazine, then we just don't publish it. I said, well, that's not possible. Uh, and he said, well, you're fired. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then I tweeted about it, and then Putin called me, and I thought it was a prank. And by, by, by the way, Putin calls you about three times a week. He never calls journalists, I don't think. D different, twice so, a week. <laughs> so I thought, I thought it was a prank. So I was trying to figure out something witty to say because it was going to be posted on YouTube, and I couldn't come up with anything <laughs> witty to say. And, uh, and then he said, he said, I heard that you lost your job, and I was unwittingly at fault, and could we, come and, uh, could we meet about this and talk? And I said, sure, but how do I know you are who you say you are? And uh, he said, well, I'll show up for the meeting. And uh, that was funny. Uh, and, um, and then I went, and the first thing he said to me was, I like kitties and puppies and little animals. <laughs> and that was a line that was intended to convince me that he was serious about nature conservation. 